This video is brought to you by Bye Bye Baby. For four years, we've had this $20 wagon that did okay at hauling camping chairs, coolers, and our very own kids to soccer games and community events, but it's finally broken down and the time has come to invest in a wagon stroller that can handle an on-the-go lifestyle with our family. So we're gonna explore three picks that you might want to consider, all of which you can pick up at Bye Bye Baby using the links below. Now note, to my knowledge, the wagon stroller category is not permitted at Disney theme parks. It's a very common question when people are shopping for these types of things. So that's something to keep in mind if you're thinking of bringing a wagon on a Disney trip, they probably won't let it in. So the first pick on this list is the Wonderfold Wagon. The one that you're seeing is the premium double version. They also have the W2 Elite versions as well as quad versions, but overall they're not gonna differ too much, uh, but they are available. Now of the wagons we'll be highlighting here, this one will probably offer the most comfort and space for your little ones as well as more carrying capacity. Uh, you can use the wagon as just basically like an, like an empty grocery cart, but most people are gonna use the seats that can snap onto the sides. Uh, the seats themselves, they hold the kids well enough and they can support up to 45 pounds each. Uh, they also have little pockets on the sides for the kids to keep water and just little things, which is a, a handy little detail. Uh, but overall, like the entire wagon, uh, that can support up to 200 pounds of weight. And most of the storage that you'll use uh, will be uh, under their seats, which you can access either from above or if the kids are seated, uh, you can unzip and access from the front, which is super convenient. At the back, you can attach the included caddy for like snacks and small items. And on the side of that caddy, uh, you'll notice a, a couple small slots to store the canopy. Now, one thing to note here is even though its size is its biggest strength, it's also its biggest weakness because this guy is an absolute tank at 55 pounds. My wife struggles to deal with it on her own, getting it in and out of a vehicle is a task. And unless you have an SUV or a van, it's really not gonna fit in the trunk of a sedan. Now that said, for this being such a tank, it handles deceptively well. It's basically Joey Bosa. And the push actually kind of handles like, like a grocery cart, right? But narrower and with much better turning. Now it may not look like it, but it's actually the same width of the uh, Upper Baby Vista double stroller and it's comparable in depth as well. Looking at the fold, it's kind of like a, a slight accordion, but even when folded, it's, it's just a little bit too bulky in my opinion. I think we can get a, a tighter collapse if we were to like undo the, the, the seats and whatnot. But for us, speed is pretty important. We need the ability to like transition quickly. And I'm just I'm just wanting the fold and go. Uh, and unfortunately, the fold with the with the wonderful, how funny is that? It's, it's not very wonderful. Uh, it, it's a bit cumbersome. So while I love the Wonderfold for long stretches of planned activities and just the fact that it can hold so much stuff, really the next option on my list is actually my favorite choice and that's the Veer Cruiser. Now Veer has been the de facto most popular pick in the wagon category. And because of that, I didn't wanna like it, right? Coming into this video, I was looking for a bunch of reasons to bash it a little bit, but I gotta say, I'm all in. The main reason why I love this is just how fast you can get this out, unfolded, loaded up, and off to the races. Uh, with the exception of the wheels, it can fold down to like basically a flat board, and you can also just pop off the wheels to easily save space in smaller sedans. It weighs about 33 pounds, so not much more than a double stroller, but because of how the weight is, is evenly distributed, it doesn't feel as heavy when getting it in and out of your car. Now some highlights here, it's got a quality build compared to other wagons in the market, great terrain versatility and maneuverability with a wide wheelbase. You also have the option to push it like a stroller or pull it like a wagon. Now I will note that the larger wheels stay fixed whereas the smaller ones, they fully rotate. So in pull mode, it uh, feels great, but in push mode, it's a little bit of an adjustment because the pivot point uh, goes from the front to the back. So turning is less with your wrists and more with your palms and your arms. So there's a bit of an adjustment there. Wagons are, they're amazing and kids just love riding in these. And by the way, you've been looking at the base model which retails uh, at $6.99, which comes with a snack tray and cup holders. Uh, but that leads me to the main downside of Veer, which is gonna be price. Options like the Evenflow Pivot Explorer, which we're gonna get into in the Wonderful, all come with accessories like canopies and include an additional snack caddy. After picking up some accessories for Veer, you're looking at a price tag closer to $800. So you gotta keep that in mind, but they do offer more accessories out there, including car seat adapting, which is a nice perk that you're not gonna find with every wagon in the market. 
Moving on though, I wanna highlight my last pick, which a lot of people consider to be a budget-friendly version of Veer, and that's the Evenflow Pivot Explorer. Now, while the Wonderful has a lot of great strengths, most people really are gonna be debating between Veer or the Explorer. So let's get into that. So the Evenflow functions very similarly to Veer, and it's great for older kids who simply just don't wanna be in a stroller anymore. And that's why, again, that's why I love this category. Kids love wagons, and it can support older ones who have grown out of strollers. You can use the Explorer in both a push or a pull mode, and it's achieved a little bit differently here where you have to swivel the handlebar into place. But unlike Veer, you never have to worry about the pivot point change, uh, which is a very subtle advantage there. Now, a big draw here though, is it comes with a mid tray for snacks, two canopies, and a clever storage basket that can either be used on the inside or flipped to be used outside. All that comes included, so it really does offer the best value. Now, I do wish the canopy was a little bit more full coverage like Veer's rather than that like 45 degree half coverage looking thing that you can uh, move around, but uh, it is cool that they are reversible so you can switch up the colors as needed. For its price point, this really is a great pickup and it delivers on everything that you're gonna be looking for. Uh, and it's comparably sized to Veer, so your littles are gonna sit in this comfortably, has a bunch of storage spots, uh, and really is, it's a great pickup for the family. Uh, but in comparing the Explorer to other options, it definitely does lack some of that extra rigidity and build quality. And I can see it wearing a lot faster than some others, but I mostly uh, wanna point out two options that I feel like can use some improvement. First is the Fold, which really isn't much of one. It even collapsed, it has a super awkward lamp chop looking side profile, which is bulky. Uh, SUVs and vans are fine, but if you're a sedan family, you gotta keep that in mind. Second are gonna be the wheels. Now, they're fine, right? But for being billed as like all terrain, they really aren't as well suited as the Wonderfold or Veer's larger wheels with improved tread. Uh, and you can feel that especially when fully loaded or in sand. So while this wagon delivers on, on similar size, versatility, and function, there is a noticeable difference in the build quality, materials, and compact fold design with the Explorer. So those are my three picks to consider, each with their own pros and cons. If you need help picking, I would say that if, like, if you feel like a, a wagon won't fit into your lifestyle frequently enough for some of those little details to matter, like the fold or the build quality or whatever, I, I think that the Evenflow Pivot Explorer will be a great pick for nearly half the price of the others. It's awesome, everything comes included, you really can't beat that. And as a reviewer, I talk about like the build quality and all that stuff, but like, really? Even Flows is a lot better to, better than some rickety options out there. I gotta say, like, Even Flow is a great pickup. Now, if you're a family who's most definitely gonna be using this weekly for like sporting weekends, beach trips, zoos, aquariums, community events, all that kind of stuff, then make the jump to a Veer. It is worth the investment. It's best in class, four years running, JD Power and Associates. It's, it's not actually, I, I don't even know what that means, but. It sounds like the right thing to say for this, right? The Veer is a great investment for a suburban family lifestyle. I'll finish by saying that the lifespan of a, of a regular stroller is about maybe three years or so, right? Our oldest is four, and in the past year, he's gotten in a stroller once when we were on a city trip and we walked a lot, he didn't wanna walk anymore, so he got in a stroller. Uh, only once. Otherwise, he's never been in one in the, in the last year. And it's also because he's too tall. He's grown out of them, right? On the flip side, wagons can support kids upwards of you know five, six years old here. So if you're a family with multiple kids, this could theoretically last you a decade through multiple long weekends. Uh, and any stroller that you get is gonna be well worth the price tag. Thank you to Bye Bye Baby for sponsoring this video. Everything is linked down below. Buying through those links helps support this channel, helps support me as a video content creator. And uh, it's at no additional cost to you guys when you buy through those links. So please consider doing that. And also, if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button down there. It looks like a thumbs up. Thank you for watching this video. Come back for the next one. God bless. Later.